Hey everybody, Jim Perry here. Uh, you'll have to excuse the wind noise. It's uh, only about 25 degrees and pretty windy here on a kind of mid-January day. So I am returning to a, a location here, a permission of mine um, that I got a couple of months ago um, and didn't have a whole lot of luck here. I found a, a few buckles and stuff. I really thought that I'd find more here in this field at that time. Uh, I'm returning today with the new detector that I got, uh, the Nocta Macro Simplex that my family got me for Christmas. Um, this is the site of a former homestead. This whole area behind me from down in here, there were a couple of barns. I believe the hole was over in here. Uh, and there may have been another building kind of back behind that. I really focused my time on this area directly behind me the last time I was here when it was much, much warmer. Um, but I believe that if I spread out a little bit to where I believe the other buildings were, I might be able to um, find some stuff. So let's see how today goes. So I've been here about a half an hour, kind of made my way along the edge of the field here then kind of down below where I believe the home was. Um, still, like last time, a lot of trash, uh, a lot of glass. I'm kind of slowly making my way up uh, to the site where I believe the home is. Uh, I'm seeing some larger brick here. We'll get to that in a bit. But um, here's some of the items. I know that there's a lot of activity that's, that's happened here because there's a lot of stuff here. In addition to a lot of trash, um, uh, there is quite a bit of um, broken plates here. Uh, this would be part of a mason jar, one of several pieces of that. And then finally, first really, really good target, again, after being here for about a half an hour, finally ran into uh, an old buckle. Looks like it's kind of been bent. Not sure how long this has been here. Again, uh, expecting that this property has been here um, I would think that the home was probably here in the mid 1800s. Again, it was um, gone by 1983. Still did show up on the old aerial photos from 1938, 1952. Um, property goes all the way back to a river back behind here. So this is the area that I'm going to focus some of my time on now. Um, and then on the other side of this hill in just a bit. But I see that they've plowed here a bit and this very large stone has come up from that plowing. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to focus a little bit of my time around here. Obviously, this came from a building that was here. Uh, I really didn't get this far over on the property uh, when here last time. So we'll see what kind of luck I might have here this afternoon. So finally, uh, there is that rock kind of right there where I've just slowly been making my way along the, the backside of where I believe this home was. Um, lots and lots and lots of signals. I just, I'm having the hardest time deciding what to even attempt to dig and, and what not to. I couldn't possibly get to everything. And just had a, a really, really strong signal here. This is, oh, I don't know if this isn't going to be the fun of the day. I don't know what would be. I don't know if you can see this here. This is a very tiny little religious figure. I'm going to assume uh, that this is a tiny statue of Jesus. Um, I'm going to have to see if there's anything else kind of around this spot here. But boy, I am glad to take that home with me today. That, you know, unfortunately, looks like his arms are snapped off. Um, I'm hoping I didn't do that. Actually, it looks like a fresh break, although it could have come off when they plowed here. Um, so let me check the area here again and see what else there might be. Oh, so glad for that today. Very, very cool. So I decided I was going to make my way far back into the other side of this property. I'm parked way up over here. Probably can't see it. I've kind of slowly made my way down to 
this old tree just to see if there anything might be back here. Uh, again, it's it's just far too frozen to dig most of the targets. Uh, lots of trash. Uh, there are spots that are very, very diggable. So uh, kind of my plan here is to kind of my wake, make my way back up to this hill, kind of down through and back up toward where I parked. But just to the east side of that, there were some barns and uh, I had some luck there last time. So we'll take a, a quick peek there and see what I found. And um, it's just too cold. I can barely even talk. Uh, I'll need to make my way out of here and go home at that point. So right there is where I was just at before. Just kind of slowly made my way along the field and around the other side of the hill here. Really didn't have any luck. So decided to come back up over to this side again. And over here uh, in the aerial photos from uh, for sure 1938 or so, this was all trees. So this was all wooded on this side of the home. And the home again would have been on top of the hill and then woods back here. Um, had a little luck. I'll have to do some cleaning up of this side on my, not 100% positive what it is, um, but let me show you this little piece, this little brass piece here I just pulled. Um, thought it was a, a piece of trash initially, um, but then I saw a hinge, I know it's going to be hard to get this to focus, saw the hinges up at the top and realized there was a pattern on this. Uh, again, I'll have to clean this up. I don't see any words. Maybe there'll be something written on the inside. Um, I'm assuming that this is the top to a small box, possibly uh, a very small jewelry box or a, a match box. So I'll, uh, I'll do a little looking uh, online and clean it up, see if I can get any words off it. Either way, um, uh, this is definitely an area on this side of the hill, kind of below the home toward the woods that uh, when I return, I am going to want to come back to. Very cool. A few more minutes and we'll uh, do a quick wrap up and get out of here. So about 30 seconds later and just got a really, really strong uh, about 86 on the simplex. Uh, this absolutely is a place that I, I'm going to want to hit again on this side. Just flipped this over and I'll see if there are any more parts to it, but this would be part of a very old, oh, almost looks like might be uh, Jeep or possibly a pickup. Um, I'll get this cleaned up at home, but uh, obviously, um, based on some other things that I found last time here, there were children here. Um, I would assume that the same child possibly uh, lost some toys or some things. There's where the home would have been, just down the hill here into what area would have been the woods down below the hill. So, you know, very glad to at least finally have a little luck here. So I should have done a live dig on this item. This is a bucket lister. Again, just downhill toward the woods uh, where I found uh, the top to probably that jewelry box and a toy car and uh, strong all directions, uh, 90 on the simplex, 89.90. And I wish it was whole but I am, I am glad to take this. So this would have been, oh, let's say almost six inches or so down, although it's probably been plowed over multiple times. This is the very first toy gun that I've ever found. Um, it's really got dirt frozen in there. I don't think I'm going to get even the name of the manufacturer off it, but never know. I'll uh, see if there's any other parts in the kind of the area around here. Otherwise, I'll, I'll take this home and get it cleaned up. 
So it's just, it's getting far too cold out here. The wind really seems to have died down, but it is getting much colder. So I'm, I'm going to call it a day. Uh, I'm glad that I decided to come back up over the hill, uh, across from where the home would have been right behind me up in here, uh, to check out the hillside leading down into what was the woods for sure in 1938. Uh, found a couple nice toys and um, glad to, to get home and, and clean those up. Uh, my plan would be to come back here uh, in the spring, possibly before they plant, uh, or it may have to wait till in the fall till just after harvest and, and really spend a lot of my time focused on this area right behind me where uh, these toys have been lost and, and we're possibly, I'm guessing there are more that were lost at the same time. So um, again, it's far too cold. I'm not going to do the wrap up out here. I'm going to head home, get the items that I found cleaned up and do a quick wrap up there, uh, throw just the, the photos on at the end here. So as always, thank you for joining me today. Hope to see you soon. So I grabbed some of the pottery that I found out in the field because there was just, there was so much of it. So assuming these were from a crock of some sort, um, really, really thick, heavy pieces. Um, this was a piece to a uh, mason jar. Um, I grabbed this piece of glass only because I could see some lettering on it. I, I'm not sure what it says. There's not nearly enough there. All different colors of plateware that were out there. Bought it some kind of bottle or jar. Um, I never tire of digging old square nails. Um, here's that that piece cleaned up really, really nice. Not sure if that's silver plated or not, assuming that this is the, the cover to a small jewelry box or um, maybe matchstick box. Um, my buckle for today, always have to leave with one of those. The Jeep uh, actually is a Tootsie toy. Um, looked it up, this would be from the mid 1940s. The toy gun and piece of the day. And this is um, absolutely my favorite piece from today. Um, this would be actually very, very heavy. Small statue of assuming Jesus. Um, very, very grateful to, to find that today. Um, almost feel lucky in that field full of so much garbage out there. So, Pretty productive day while out there today.